other group of low grade tumor what we call low grade glioma which is the tumor infiltrating tumor that start inside the brain matter which is a bit more difficult to manage because those are the tumor that arise in the brain matter and depending on the location again people have symptoms so in a brain tumor world in a glioma world we don't stage them there's no staging for brain tumors for for gliomas we grade them so grade 1 grade 2 grade 3 and grade 4 so grade 1 is called low grade gliomas where sometimes we just do the biopsy sometimes when we remove it depending on the location and decide what type of tumor it is if it is a grade 1 low grade glioma we will talk about how to treat them in a few minutes then we follow grade 2 which is slightly higher than grade 1 which is still low grade gliomas for those people again we may not decide to do any interventions we just follow them after initial surgery or biopsy and monitor and treat their symptoms grade 3 which is called anaplastic gliomas and again depending on the origin of the cells which is either astrocytes what we call anaplastic astrocytomas or oligodendrocytes what we call anaplastic oligodendrogliomas there are some other cells that also uh, are glial tissues in a brain which, which we call ependymomas and some other uh, tumors and those are also become grade 3 what we call anaplastic will ependymoma or some other gliomas so that's grade 3 anaplastic tumors which has slightly more chances of getting into the higher grade or having slightly more chances of having recurrence faster than grade 1 and grade 2 so grade 4 which is called glioblastoma so glioblastoma has highest chance to reoccur <coughs> lot faster so those are the tumor when we remove it even though we remove it by 100 percent surgeon many of the time come lot of time people come to my office after having a their glioma or glioblastoma removed and said doctor my doctor my neurosurgeon told me that he or she removed 100 percent of my tumor and what that means to most practical instance is the surgeon removed everything that he could see in a naked eye or he removed everything that he saw on that MRI which is gadolinium enhanced abnormality for grade 4 gliomas there is some microscopic spread that we don't see it on MRI so those are the finger like projections so we were for today's purpose we're not going to talk about grade 3 or grade 4 we're going to just focus on low grade tumors low grade so low grade gliomas have also different um, symptoms depending on size depending on location people have different symptoms if somebody has tumor in very critical part of the brain surgeon said this is located in certain part that we cannot even biopsy like brainstem gliomas so even major neurosurgeons or major brain tumor centers this is the only time if people have a brainstem uh, glioma looking abnormalities we decide to treat them as we need to treat them with uh, uh, proven glioma without biopsy because doing biopsy for those brainstem patient with gliomas may hurt people brainstem is a very vital part of our brain which can cause major major symptoms so again how would you look those gliomas on MRI there's a completely different characteristics when we look at the MRI first time we can almost very not 100 percent but very certainty say that this is going to be low grade glioma or this is going to be higher grade glioma at the same time we all also can predict who is what is going to be looking like meningiomas so looking at the MRI so diagnostic test still gold standard is MRI even for gliomas so once we people present with whatever different symptoms depending on the location of the tumor headaches seizures weakness mental status change confusion difficulty finding words difficulty with fine coordinated movements balance problems sensory symptoms people have all different types of symptoms even with the gliomas so once they have diagnosis of MRI appearance of glioma once we see them we decide what should we do if location of the tumor permits us we say we're going to and again 
management of low grade glioma are the most controversial at even present time even in our most national and international brain tumor um, society meetings we have almost one full day for low grade uh, glioma management because if you ask 10 different neuro oncologists there may be many different opinions how to manage those gliomas so it's still not universally accepted gold standard for managing low grade gliomas so now we decide and divided gliomas low grade gliomas into low risk low grade glioma and a high risk low grade glioma so people with low risk low grade glioma depending on the location and the size if we make a diagnosis by either doing a biopsy or removing the whole tumor we monitor if it was the low risk low grade tumor low risk low grade glioma we decide to depending on their pathology again we decide to monitor them without doing further interventions if it is a high risk low grade gliomas we have to do more interventions because those are the people as a high risk to develop into the grade 3 which is anaplastic or even higher grade lot faster so depending on the individual person and again for this reason everybody with brain tumor should be managed by brain tumor specialist either they're going to see neuro oncologist in a local area wherever convenient for them or or they go to other major brain tumor center and that's the whole purpose of us starting brain tumor center in this area because when i was in new memorial sloan catering cancer center i was seeing all many people like judy uh, bringing her husband and a lot of other people traveling all over the country and world and having lots of difficulties for even low grade tumors just to make sure they're doing right thing for their loved one so that is extremely important thing and not just to making sure that you're doing right thing it is very important how people respond and do when people are taking care by specialist so one, once you have a diagnosis of either low risk low grade glioma or high risk low grade glioma we decide what are we going to do next for those people and again the the treatment for those um, gliomas all different completely different than what we decide for meningiomas so gliomas we decide if this is completely removable 100% removed by surgeon and pathology is completely low risk low grade glioma then we would monitor them carefully by doing MRIs in the first year or two we do a bit more serial more frequent MRI just to make sure these tumors are not coming back fast enough to do further interventions if you have high risk low grade gliomas then we decide to intervene depending on again the type of tumor a lot of new advances occurs in glioma world in last five to six years I'm going to mention very briefly at the end but depending on what we see for a lot of different things after we do the pathology we decide whether it's astrocytoma or oligodendroglioma or ependymomas or different other tumors we design the treatment for those individual persons so if it's a high risk low grade tumors depending on their pathology with the astrocytomas we might choose to do radiation followed by possible chemotherapy or monitor without chemotherapy and decide what we need to do next for people with high risk low grade low grade high risk oligodendrogliomas we do genetic testing this is extremely important because most of the time when i see people with low risk oligodendrogliomas i don't have that piece of information which is very very important and when i ask them if the surgery was already done two three years ago we may not even have a tissue at the place where they had a surgery and we missed that window of opportunity to get that genetic information so now it's become almost gold standard to get that genetic information we look for chromosome 1p and 19q to people with oligodendrogliomas even if they are low grade that help us decide whether we should do the chemotherapy first or radiation to this even the low grade tumor so this is extremely important piece of information and we should have it as um, as almost every brain tumor uh, low grade glioma oligodendroglioma so it's extremely important piece of information that if you're not practicing neuro oncology may not be able to get this and this is again another reason we need to have specialists either um, locally or wherever you dis 
are going to uh, monitor. So once we diagnose them with um, gliomas, we decide the treatment, we follow and, um, and we monitor them. Now what is the prognosis? What people do, uh, how they do after the diagnosis of both meningiomas and gliomas and that is the most important reason I wanted to come here and talk today because I think the, the prognosis and further um, um, quality of life is very, very important and, um, and once people hear the diagnosis of brain tumor, most of the people will almost give up that that is it, nothing else is going to happen, we are going to die or we are going to have problems. But that is not the case and we have problem, we try to publish time to time a lot of different encouraging stories and I do not know how many of you read one of my patient's story recently about three four months ago in, uh, in a Barnabas Health, um, Barnabas Today magazine where I had a patient with glioblastoma who was diagnosed with glioblastoma in 2004 and he is still alive and he is the first patient in the world to get PhD after diagnosis of glioblastoma. He is surviving today, doing it, he lives independently by himself and working as a as a movie director, state um, drama director in a Broadway. So even the, the most malignant form of tumor, glioblastoma can do well. So when coming back to the low grade gliomas, I think it is very, very important that people need to understand there is lots of different things we can do, there are different hopes and people can survive normally. So meningiomas, of course, people have co impact on depending on the location, but they can do well, same thing with the gliomas they can pursue their career, they can do whatever they are planning to do and live normally as normal they can depending on the location of the tumor. So um, I think that is the core part of what I wanted to talk about um, the treatment and prognosis about low grade tumors.